Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyTex. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you two possible ways to fix the problem of missing media driver during Windows 10 installation. This is a common error when you try to install Windows 10 from a USB storage device. To demonstrate this error, here I have my bootable USB with Windows 10 installation file stored in it. So I will attach it to this Dell Vostro 3550 laptop and press the power button to boot to it. After some time, the initial installation page shows up. Here I will leave it as Windows 10 64-bit and hit enter. Then it loads up the installation files and gets to this page. Here I will select next and then install now. Normally the next page I would see should be the page asking me to enter the product key or to continue the installation and enter the product key later. Instead, this page pops up saying, a media driver your computer needs is missing. And here it gives me the option of either browsing for the media driver or canceling the process. This error is simply due to lack of the required USB drivers to enable your USB stick and your hard disks to interact for Windows installation. So now let's go ahead and see the possible ways to solve this problem. Starting with the simpler of the two fixes, here all you need to do is to change the USB stick to another USB port on your laptop. So basically you should first terminate the installation process. Then detach your USB stick from the port you had connected it to earlier. Attach it to another port on the PC and then try the process over again. Now if you still get the same error from the port you've connected to, try another port until you find a working port. Or better still, if your USB ports are visibly marked, talking about the 2.0 and 3.0 standards, then if the previous port given the error is a 3.0 port, simply switch to a 2.0 port and see if it works for you. For the case of this Dell, I changed from a 3.0 port to a 2.0 port and the problem was solved immediately. The second solution would be to download the Intel Rapid Storage Technology User Interface and Drivers and then install it during the Windows installation process. So I go to Google and search Intel Rapid Storage Technology. Click on the first result from intel.com. Now it should bring you to this page. Here scroll down to where it says Download Intel Rapid Storage Technology and click on it. Then on the page that follows, select drivers and then choose your operating system. Here I will choose Windows 10 64 bits. And then it displays the latest driver of my chosen specifications. Here click on the link in the first result. It should take you to this download page. Here you want to download the last two drivers for both 64 and 32 bit editions. And go to the location you downloaded these files and unzip them into separate folders. I'll move mine to the desktop for convenience. Here I will create two folders. One I would call x86. The other I will call x64. Then move the two files into their respective folders and unzip them.
After unzipping, copy these folders to a known location on the USB stick with your Windows 10 installation files. Here I will create a folder and name it USB drivers. And then copy both files into it. Then eject the USB and try the installation process again. Now at the point where you normally get this error, choose the browse option and then locate the folder where you saved these drivers. and then click OK. On the page that follows, uncheck hide the drivers that aren't compatible with this computer's hardware. Then here you will need to do a bit of research to figure out the chipset of your computer. Select it and then hit next to install. Now that should install the required driver and proceed with the rest of the installation process. Hope one of these was able to help you out. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and share with anyone you think might want to see. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notification on future tech support videos like this. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.